This feels like it's sort of only legal on the internet. That's funny. Wowee. <laughs> Hello, you lot. My name's Phil Dunster. You guys are watching BuzzFeed Nurse Tweets, and it's about to get smutty all up in here. I'm feeling excited to venture into the deep, dark corners of the web. <clears throat> okay, number one. Phil Dunster, if you ever see this, if I could give you the moon, I'd give you the moon. I'm not sure what I'd do with the moon. Unless they're saying like, the moon is in like, moon me and show their bottom, which I'm okay with. Phil Dunster has no business being this cute. He's like a little ray of sunshine and then an emoji that goes like, where is Phil Dunster? I want to kiss him. <laughs> I'm right here, Twitter user, I'm right here. Phil Dunster is so baby girl, it's insane. What is, ba I don't know what baby girl means. I, I, I have seen this before and I'm, I think I'm flattered. Does it mean cute, is that like, is that, is that? That's less thirsty and more like nourishing, I think. Phil Dunster be my boyfriend challenge. What does that mean? <laughs> Also, I mean, this is, this is, just goes to show how non-Gen Z I am. There's no capitals in this or punctuation. And so I am just immediately off the bat confused. Is that like, be my boyfriend? Challenge. <laughs> like, I challenge you to do it, or is that an actual challenge? Jamie Tart is my baby boy, my sweet little angel, and no one is allowed to ever hurt him. Well, speak to Man City about that, because they get all up in his, in his business. The way Phil Dunster says Keeley is incredible and hot. I mean, the way I say Keely is probably quite dull, but I think the way that Jamie Tart says Keela is probably what they are referring to. Incredible and hot. Incredibly hot? No, but incredible and hot. Okay, so when are we getting a rom-com starring Phil Dunster and Brett Goldstein? My God! Is season three not enough for you? Is that not rom-com enough? I feel like most sort of phone calls that Brett and I have are mini rom-coms in themselves. Less com, more rom. Phil Dunster know how to be hot. If it's a, a directive, um, it says I've got a lot to learn, but I, I appreciate the sentiment, but again, there is no capital letters. So I, I, do, I do wonder, is, is, that a, is that a thing? Are people doing that on purpose? That they're not actually, do you have to go and cancel it and then make it lowercase? That's effort, man. Give Phil Dunster an Emmy, because why am I, as a lesbian, having to pause this show to giggle and kick my feet about Jamie Tart? I, I don't know if I can be the one to answer this um, as uh, a mostly straight white dude, but um, I, 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 I don't know if giggling and kicking your feet about a fictional character is, is enough to perhaps turn your sexuality. I don't know. I don't want to be the one to tell you, random Twitter user. But it's a very cute image. Phil Dunster dancing. Baby, let me talk to you. <laughs> Baby, let me talk to you. I don't know what the emoji is. Oh, it's hot emoji. Can you see that? It looks a bit like there's horns. Maybe it's horny. When Phil Dunster goes, I lose a part of my soul, for real. I'm quite pleased with myself that I knew that FR means for real. He gets his tongue out quite a lot, doesn't he, Jamie? And uh, that's the end of that sentence. <laughs> Jamie Tart. The juicy butt. There's a sort of lack of description around a lot of it, and I quite like that sort of deconstructed sentences. You could say it in many different ways. Jamie Tart, the juicy butt. Jamie Tart, the juicy butt. I'm going to take some credit for the juicy butt. It's not all Jamie Tart, it's a little bit Phil Dunster. Okay, now this does have an initialism or an abbreviation that I don't know, but I'm going to give it a go. Phil Dunster, fine as Fook, I deck. <laughs> I don't even care. Ah! Phil Dunster, fine as Fook, I don't even care. <laughs> Again, no capital. What, what's going on? Who's got that much time to go back and do it? I know that's not the point of this, but you know, grammar is what gets me hot under the collar. Jamie Tart is so f***ing sexy. I need to speak my truth. You've spoken it and I appreciate it. It's Jackie Levy who is in charge of costume and she puts him in some pretty, pretty naughty clobber as they call it. This is another challenge. <laughs> I feel like we've stepped up a gear with this one. Jamie Tart and Roy Kent rail each other, then me, challenge. <laughs> rail each other, it's such, a, it's such an image, isn't it? Let's just take a moment to read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, sore. Feels like things are sore. Okay, there's an emoji at the end of this one. I'd let Phil Dunster fill me like a dumpster. This feels like it's sort of only legal on the internet. I'd let Phil Dunster pee on me, just saying. I don't know how to say this, but I, I feel like that might be a step too far in, in the relationship that we have, random Twitter user. If we maybe get to know each other, I don't know, and you buy me a drink or a few drinks. I'd need to be quite well hydrated for that. 
Blonde Phil Dunster could kill me and my ghost would say, thank you, baby. <laughs> Again, there's a lot of sort of sadomasochism here. What the f is Jamie Tart so sexy for? Like, what do you want from me? To kneel, to bend over, say it. I want you to be happy, random Twitter user. And if it means you kneeling or bending over, then please do it. Jamie Tart could break my heart and my back punch me in the face, run over me with his 500,000 sports car and spit in my mouth. And I would totally let him. And then I would kiss the ground he walked on. Wowee. There's a lot of pain with this. It's not just like, I'd like him to take me out for a, for a date, uh, hold my hand as we walk home, tell me I look beautiful, I uh, wouldn't run you over, wouldn't punch you. I might spit in your mouth. I don't really know. It depends if the, if the moment takes me. I certainly wouldn't break your heart. I'd hold your hand and I'd make you feel secure and warm. Well, guys, I've been Phil Dunster. You've been thirsty AF and I've had a great time. If you've been watching this and been like, who the hell is this guy? I would understand. But if you go and watch Ted Lasso on Apple TV+, you might have a better idea. Cheers then, bye. <laughs>